Hi again everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Megan Kimmy and for today's video, we will be doing the next part of Nmat tips and techniques. So if you're new in my channel, please do click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified with the latest content that I will be posting. In this video, we are still in part 1 but we will be talking about the inductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning actually has certain parts. Let's start with the first figure series. Figure series is very simple because it will be just all about what's next. Like what's the next figure? We have here an example picture. You can see there are 5 boxes and each box has a corresponding picture. So what you need to do is actually to discover the pattern. Like you need to look at what is the pattern of changing, then what will be the next figure. In each boxes, we actually have different triangles. It's either a shaded triangle or a non-shaded triangle. But as you notice also, inside of the triangle, there are different shapes. So since you just know two differences shaded triangle and non-shaded triangle and the shapes inside the triangle you focus on those factors for better understanding let's look at the triangles first because the triangles have differences look at the first picture the triangle is not shaded then the second picture it's shaded third is not shaded then fourth shaded, fifth not shaded. So you can already see the pattern. It's not shaded, shaded, not shaded, shaded, not shaded. So what will be not next? So you know that it's an alternating pattern. So you will remember that the next box should be a shaded triangle. Now to better understand it, let me share to you the picture and the given choices. We also have here five boxes for five choices. Now we already know that the next part should be a shaded triangle. So you will look at your choices. Which of these are shaded triangle? Those are only B, D, and E. So automatically you cross out A and letter C. Because we are left with three choices, we still need to look at, again, another pattern. So, remember, you only have B, D, and E as the remaining choices. Now, let's go back to the given figures. We know that it's shaded, non-shaded. But as you noticed, inside the triangle, there are actually different shapes also. So this time, instead of focusing on the triangle, we will now focus on the shapes inside the triangle. Let's look at the shapes inside the triangle. We have here, in the first picture, it's a circle. Next is a square. Next is a star. Then look at the fourth picture, it goes back to circle. So meaning, there are only three shapes, circle, square, and star so in the fourth picture it starts again with a circle then the fifth will be the square so you will know that the next picture should have a star inside a triangle so now we just need to check we are left with b d and e choices now we will check which of these three has a star inside the triangle and that answer will be the letter B. So the next part of the inductive reasoning is actually what we call figure grouping. Figure grouping is also very simple because all you need to do is to check which one is different. So the technique here is that you need to know and analyze why are they related with each other. So let's take a look at this picture. You are already given like the bo five boxes and all you need to do is to check how each of these boxes relates with each other. As you can see, all the pictures are about arrows. They only differ with how many number of arrows they have. As you notice also, there are going up arrows and going down arrows but what really makes them related with each other as you notice 
A, B, D, and E are all going up, while only letter C is going down. Remember, we are finding the odd one out, so obviously the answer will be letter C. The last part of the inductive reasoning is actually the number and letter series. In the number and letter series, it's actually a combination of figure series and figure grouping. Although it's a combination of both, but we need to, again, take note that these are numbers and letters. Let's have here as an example, what if you are given with numbers 3, 6, 9, 12? So we need to find the next number in the series. This example is actually pretty simple because all you need to check is to find the common denominator. 3, 6, 9, and 12 are all divisible by 3. So we have here 3 plus 3 equals 6 plus 3 equals 9 plus 3 equals 12 then plus 3 so our answer will be 15. I would also suggest once you receive your scratch paper immediately write the alphabets A, B, C until the letter Z and put corresponding numbers of each letters like example A is to 1, B is to 2, C is to 3 and so on and so forth. This is actually to prevent you from counting by letters. Instead, if you know that there's an A, C, E, you already know that it's 1, 3, and 5. This will make actually easier for you to know what numbers are assigned to each letters. So let's have here an example. What if you are given with letters B, D, and F? What will be the next letter? Remember that you already wrote the alphabet and its corresponding numbers. So all you need to do is just to check one more time. What are the numbers of B, D, and F? So B is actually number 2, D is number 4, F, and number 6. Then we find a common denominator that will be 2. So 2, 4, 6, what will be the next? That will be 8. After that, you need to check what letter is the same with the number 8, and that will be the letter H. So the answer will be letter H. That's it for part 1 inductive reasoning tips, and I hope you learned something from it. And thank you so much for watching. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and also click the notification bell so you will be notified with the latest content that i will be posting because i will be sharing more and my tips in the future thank you so much once again and you can also share my videos have a great day